The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. Two stocks that offer both growth and income. That's what we're going to hear about now with the editor of our Income Investor Service, Nina Mishra. You have uh, uncovered a couple of interesting companies here. The first one is uh, particularly interesting to me, anyway. Uh, Core Civic, CXW. This is a REIT, mm -hmm. right, that is one of the largest publicly traded prison, prison REITs. REITs. Yes. Uh -huh. Private prison REITs. Private prison REITs. Uh, so they operate, develop, and manage a number of uh, correctional and detention uh, facilities across the U.S. And they work with all three major corrections agencies as mm -hmm. well as with state and municipalities. Now, these prison stocks have been rising since Trump's election. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reading. That's yes. interesting to yeah. me. It's for some reason, well, one of the reasons uh, is an obvious one, that whole immigration policy conversation, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, they plan to increase the uses, usage of private uh, prisons versus Obama uh, government's decision to phase them out. Mm. Uh, so uh, that is why these stocks have been rising. And also they plan to deport millions of undocumented illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. So that should increase the occupancy rates at uh, you know, immigration and customs detention facilities, mm. and those detention centers usually generate more revenues uh, for this company than uh, prisons. So that's why the stock has been rising since election. Yep. And if you look at the results also, they reported good results beating uh, estimates, and that is why, and, and in fact, all four of last um, last four quarters, they have been able to beat uh, Zach's consensus estimates and uh, that is the reason why the estimates have been rising uh, since the result uh, you can see that here on the on the uh, detailed estimates page mm -hmm. and uh, if you look at their uh, you know other details uh, because they are a REIT so they have a very juicy dividend yield yes. of almost 5% and uh, expected EPS growth of 6%. So with that growth potential and a juicy income yield, right. dividend yield, I think the stock is worth a look. It's a Zach's rank number one stock. Oh, okay, paints a nice picture for that company. Yes. All right, the next one is Seagate, uh, STX, the ticker, second largest manufacturer of hard disk drives in the U.S. The company's been around for a while. It has been around for a while. Uh, they, are the, as you mentioned, uh, they produced hard disk uh, drives and they also provide uh, many other uh, electronic data storage products and solutions and that has been a very hot space of mm, late sure. and uh, particularly demand from cloud service uh, providers has been rising and that has been boosting the bottom line uh, so the the outlooks looks pretty good this company also had uh, very good uh, you know results uh, recently uh, they beat both on the top and bottom lines and also raise their guidance uh, they have been very active on the acquisitions mm -hmm. front mm -hmm. and that because of that they have been able to consistently improve their competitive edge yeah. and uh, they have also been returning a lot of capital to shareholders I see that. <laughs> in the form of uh, dividends and share buybacks and it has a very juicy dividend yield of 5.23 percent yeah. as of now yep. which is not you don't see the, that kind of dividend yield for technology stocks and this also has a nice um, expected EPS growth of 2.26 uh, oh, I'm sorry, 8.17 percent, and it's a Zach's rank number one, mm -hmm. a strong buy stock, and I hold it in the income investor portfolio. Okay. Outside of that, uh, you don't own these two, right? No. I have to ask that uh, <laughs> outside of our services here. Um, don't forget, you can find more stock information on our website, zax.com. So if you're not there already watching this video, get on over. Link to all of it. Stock commentary, stock picks, stock picking strategies, right off the homepage. With Nina, I'm Terry Ruffalo.